Hey, welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force and today we'll be finishing off the Ticonderoga Cruiser in Minecraft. So this is the USS Monterey where we left off. As you can see, it's like 90% complete. We just need to finish off the 10%. And yeah, let's get started. So first off, we're going to make that number in the front. It says 61. And you could change this if you're going to make another one, I guess. Alright, so first we're going to go to this stone brick slab. Go on the block, two blocks down. And we're going to delete these two blocks here. And then we're going to go to this next layer and delete that one block there. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I guess it lines up with the stonework stairs. Just a little mistake we got to fix. So delete these two and then delete that one for the next layer. And after that, we're going to fill that in with stone block, like so, for both of them. All right. So after we fix that up, we're going to take out uh, quartz and we're going to go right here and we're going to make a six. So we're going to replace these blocks here with uh, smooth quartz, three blocks long like that. And then we'll try to make that six as we go down like that. And here is the bottom of the six. Alright, so after we've done that six, we'll add in gray concrete. And we're going to replace these blocks next to the six and the inside part of the six. So that there's like a little drop shadow. And this is going to go all the way to the bottom like that. So there is our six. Now we're going to make the one. So we're going to skip a block here. Add smooth quartz there. And this one is going to go all the way down like that in a line. Then we'll add in gray concrete, make an L shape at the bottom, and make it go all the way to the very top. All right, so we have our six and one, 61. Now let's do the same thing on the other side, just rotate it 180 degrees. All right, so we'll get started uh, by making the one first. So line it up with uh, this middle stone brick, and then we're gonna go skip the block here and add a smooth quartz like that and then we're gonna make it uh, let's say five blocks long so one or five blocks tall two three four five like that so there is our one then we're gonna add in the drop shadow using gray concrete make an L shape and this part goes all the way to the very top then we're gonna skip a block and add in um, gray concrete, two blocks long like that, and add another two here. Then we'll add in smooth quartz and make the six over here. And the six, you just replace the blocks so you make the numbers. And at the bottom, there's going to be a line across. All right, and actually I did this part wrong. This should be a block higher, never mind. All right, and then we'll add in the drop shadow using our gray concrete. Wrap that around. And uh, this part two, all the way up. So we have our six and we have our one. Now we're gonna make the anchor. So let's go up over here. And then we'll skip this block here, add in stone block. And we'll add in a stone brick slab underneath. Then we'll add in an oak slab here and another oak slab on the inside part like that. Then we'll add in a stone block here and then stone brick stairs on the very top of it like that. Then we'll add a stone block underneath the slab and then stone brick slab to the side of it. Then we'll add in uh, oak stairs right side up facing towards the front here upside down behind it and another one upside down here and then there's going to be upside down one in the front upside down facing the other direction on top of that one and then two right side up diagonally like that so this is going to be the side anchor and that's pretty much what it looks like all right so now we're to go all the way to that back area all right, so once we're at the back next to the hangar, we're gonna add in end rods to the side of this. Six blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
add one to the side of it at the top and then we'll add another one so it is vertically like that then we're going to add in uh, stone brick uh, slabs and this part it's going to be two by three so three blocks long like that two blocks wide cross like so then we're going to go underneath here and add in two stone brick stairs and the outer one's going to be cornered like that then two stone brick slabs and we're going to repeat this like that right over here so that we're going to have five of these so one two and then this is going to be a third one And then the fourth one. And this is going to be the fifth one. So make sure it's facing the right direction. So after we have five of these, we'll make an L shape using stone brick slabs like that. Very cool. Then we're going to move down here and we'll add in a stone brick block here. And stone brick slabs to the sides. And then one on top. Then we're going to go right over here. Skip one away from the bottom and we'll add a stone block here. Orange terracotta. And then uh, two blocks tall stone like that. And acacia fence gates, open them up. Stone buttons the side of that orange terracotta. Then we're going to make, um, skip a block here and add stone. And it's going to be uh, five blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we'll take out dark oak fence gates and then add that to the side of it and open them all up. Like so. Then we're going to go to the side of this and add in polish and a site. And this is going to be three blocks tall. Stone block in the middle of that. And then we'll move down over here. Skip a block and then we'll add three blocks tall. Polish and a site. Stone block in the middle. And let's add in end rods. Three blocks tall here. I'm going to skip a block here, add in end rods again, three blocks tall, like so. Alright, next we're going to go to the smooth stone, and we'll add in uh, two by two of stone on top. And then we'll add in an upside down stone brick stairs on the right hand side of that. So it's going to face towards the back, like that. Then we'll add in stone, wrap that around it, like so. And then on the very top of it, we'll add in stone brick stairs like this, facing towards the back. Stone brick uh, slab, stairs, and then we want to make sure that we have, I believe, six of these. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, like so. And I think we can add one more, so stone and then stairs like that. All right, so we actually have seven of these uh, pillars. After we do that, we'll go over here and add in three more stone brick slabs to the sides and iron trap doors, I mean iron bars on top of like so. Then we're gonna go um, up over here and add in stone, uh, make it two blocks long like that, and then stone brick stairs, two blocks tall like so. All right, then we're gonna go right over here to this part, and we're gonna make this go all the way so that it lines up with this base layer. With the stairs, and these two parts are gonna connect together with stone like that. All right, so everything right over here, all the holes, we'll have to fill that in with stone. So after it's been filled in with stone, let's take out uh, end rods, go line up with the other end rod make it two blocks tall like that and then we'll add one horizontally and this is going to be uh, nine blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine then we'll add in cobstone wall here stone brick stairs here upside down stone brick slab dark oak fence gate open that up and add another fence gate on the bottom slab here and then stone brick stairs upside down cobstone wall like that then we'll add in uh, end rods right over here and this goes all the way across horizontally to the end of the stone and it should reach the end like so and then we're going to go line up with this uh, fence gate the end rods all the way down like that and let's go on this top layer add in iron 
bars here, make it diagonal all the way across, and this is going to wrap all the way around to the other side, which has it. So we got that nice railing. Next, we're going to go in the front of this, and we'll go right above these stairs, add in stone block on top, it goes diagonally, and then two. And this section, we're going to line it up all the way up to this layer here. All right, so after everything's been lined up, we'll add in uh, L shape around this with uh, stone brick slabs and another stone brick slab here. Then we'll take out an uh, iron bar. We'll add one here, and then we'll make it go around this. Um, actually, it goes on top of that iron trap door and then wraps around uh, this edge all the way around and it should be looking like this. Next we're to go underneath this stone brick slab and go down here and add in five uh, dark oak fence gates. So one, two, three, four, five and open them all up. Then we're gonna go uh, delete these two blocks next to it and replace them with stone brick stairs like that and a stone block on the inside part. Then we'll add in uh, end rods right here to the side and this is going to go all the way to this top level deck like that. And then we'll add in two more dark oak fence gates, open them up. Let's go up over here in this corner and we'd add in four blocks tall and rods like that. All right, then we're going to go back over here, line up with this iron bar and add five blocks tall stone. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we'll go and had an added gray concrete. Let's make it six blocks long. And we'll add in upside down uh, stone brick stairs, every other block like this, and then stone brick slabs cross like that. And then we're gonna make this part three blocks tall. So once it is three blocks tall, we're gonna go and fill in the top section with stone all the way across. And then we'll add in another three uh, stone blocks like that and make it five blocks tall as well. So it matches up with the other parts of the level. Then we're gonna add a stone brick block here to make it two blocks long and add another stone brick slab underneath. Then cobblestone wall here and then three another brick fences like that. Then on the side here, we'll add in uh, end rods and it's gonna be five blocks tall. So I just added one, two, three, four, and then five, like so. All right, then we're gonna go to the side here, add in stone brick stairs, three blocks tall, and stone brick slabs next to it, and then the inner part, two by three of gray concrete. Top is two by two of stone. Then we'll add another column of stone here, and we'll go diagonally and add another column stone all the way to the top like that. Then we're gonna go diagonally again, make a two blocks tall, three blocks, actually six blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six like that. Fill that in and the bottom part. And that's gonna be stone brick stairs like that. Stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, stone brick slab. Fill the inner part with gray concrete. And then we're going to make this part three blocks tall. Once we do that, it should look like this. Then we'll add in diagonally um, three blocks tall of stone here. Then a two by three of upside down stone brick stairs. Go diagonally again and add in three blocks tall of stone like that. Then we'll make a three by two of stone on top here like so. Alright, then we're going to go across over here and connect it to the other side. Just make it a point like this, and then we're going to connect it to the bottom part. Just make a giant wall right down there. It just covers up this section, like so. Then we're going to skip one block away from the end rods and make this uh, dark oak fence gates. Make that go all the way to the top, like so. Then we're gonna go right on top of this antenna and we're gonna add in eight end rods. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Then we're gonna fill in the floor of this with uh, gray concrete. 
After we fill that in, we'll go on the back here and add in 2x2 two two stone, make it 3 blocks tall. Then we'll add in a stone brick stairs on the top, making a square shape. Alright, then we're going to skip a block and add in a plus sign uh, with stone like that. And I'm going to make this so it is four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four. Extend the rest out. And then we'll make um, an O shape at the top with black concrete. Then we'll make another O shape, but it's going to be uh, nether brick stairs so that they're all facing towards the inside of it. Then we'll take a light gray um, glass pane and then add it in the corners like this just to make it more rounded and basically what we're going to do we're going to build another one of these so and then we're going to skip a block and add another plus sign here and do the same thing so four blocks tall and then three by three of black concrete and then the nether brick stairs right here for the funnel and don't forget to add the light gray um, glass panes at the bottom. Alright, so I think I messed up a little bit because this is supposed to have like a little bit of spacing. Alright, so this part starting with the stone brick stairs. And it goes all the way uh, back over here. We need to move that back. So I'm going to move it one block that way. So it's sticking out now. So this is going to be the correct area and then we'll have to move this wall back where we've put it like that and move this thing so that it's in this corner. All right, so and then we'll need to fill in the hole. So that this is actually the true uh way to do it like that after we fixed all the problems. Sorry for the inconvenience. All right, so after we fix that, let's go back over here to the side. And I'm going to make this stone so it's 10 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 like that. Then we're to go extend the bottom part so it lines up as well. And then connect the two parts together like so. Then we're going to fill this part in with the hole with stone and the bottom floor in with gray concrete. All right, so after those two have been filled in, let's go over here skip a block and add in a cobblestone wall then we'll add in a skeleton skull right above it and let's add in a iron trapdoor on top of that then we'll take out um, dark oak fence gates make they go all the way to the top and open all of them up like so then we're to skip two blocks here and make a three block tall polish in a site and we can add in a stone button for uh, the middle of that door. And then we'll take out another brick fence, make an L shape, three blocks tall like that. And we're going to add in end rods. So that is going to be going all the way to the top, like so. Then we'll add in a red glass pane here, and then two acacia, actually, red glass pane over here. And then two acacia fence gates open them both up like that. Then we'll add in stone here and make it two blocks long like that. And this section will make it four blocks tall. So one, two, three, and then four like that. Then we'll add another one right there. All right, so next we're to add in four uh, stone on top of this. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make this into a rectangle, fill this in, and we'll add in iron bars along the edges right here, like so. Then we'll go over here, skip three blocks, and add in uh, four of these dark oak fence gates, open them all up like that. Add in an iron bar right over here. Then we can add in uh, end rods, three blocks along here. And then what we're going to do, uh, fill in the rest of this floor in with uh, gray concrete. All right, so after we filled in that floor, gray concrete, let's move back over here to this side, 
make this part three blocks long. So one, two, three. Then we'll add in three blocks tall, polish andesite, stone button in the middle. And then we'll add in four blocks tall of stone. And make that go all the way across to the other side and fill this in. Add iron bar right over here. Then we'll make a two by three of stone right here in the middle. And we'll add another two in the middle of that. Then we're going to make sort of like a plus sign or cross right over here. Two blocks tall of stone. And the bottom of this we can make a three by three cross like that. And then we're going to add in iron trapdoors around that top of the plus sign. Like this, making this general circle shape. Then we're going to add in iron bars around it except on this block right there. So it just avoids that block. Then we'll add in a dark oak a fence gate here and make it four blocks tall. So one and then two, three, and then four. And open them all up. And we'll add another one right underneath that trap door. And it's going to face towards the other fence gate like that. Then we'll add a stone brick stairs here, then two blocks tall stone right behind it. And then on the side of this, two blocks tall, cops and walls. Then the front will add in upside down, court stairs, right side up on top, quartz block in the middle of this, dangling back another quartz block, and this could be two blocks tall like that. Um, a quartz stairs right here to the sides. Another one upside down underneath that. And then two end rods at the top. Skeleton skull. And then a dark oak fence gate here and open that up towards the rest of the dish. Alright, so next we'll go over here. And we'll connect these two sides together with stone. Finishing off four blocks tall like that. Then we'll go right over here, add another stone top of this, and this will connect to the other side all the way across. Like that, and then we'll connect this top section of stone all the way across like that. So um, then we're going to go down here, fill that in with stone all the way there, and then we're going to fill all this part with the stone top and the bottom, and then also this layer right over here. Fill that in with uh, gray concrete. All right, so after that's been filled in, we're going to add in end rods to the side of this. This could go all the way across to the other side. Then we'll add in iron bars right over here. It's going to wrap around, and then we're going to skip that block right above that uh, fence gate. And it's going to wrap around all the way to the other side. And then we're also going to fill in this part uh, with the gray concrete as well. All right, so after that's been done, we're to go right over here to the entrance, skip six um, gray concretes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll add in stone block, two blocks tall, stone brick stairs in the front of that, and cobbles and walls, two blocks tall on the sides. Then we'll add in um, pretty much the same dish that we made on the other part, so upside down court stairs like that right side up on top upside down right behind it and then quartz block in the middle here and then dialing up two quartz blocks like that quartz stairs right here both sides then we'll add in um, end rods two blocks long here a skeleton skull and then dark oak fence gate here and open that up so it looks like this then we're to go right over here to this corner, skip a block, add another brick fence like that. Let's move on to this side. And then we'll add in four blocks long of stone. I'll make this part into a two by two and another two by two on the side here. Add in upside down, stone brick stairs, two blocks tall. And then we'll add in a stone brick slab, another two like that. Then on top of this, we'll add a cobblestone wall here, stone brick stairs dangling up. And let's add oak trap doors on either side and close that. 
on top we'll add in a stone brick slab like that and we can add in another brick fence on top of the wall like so all right so now we're to go right down over here and the stones could go all the way across then we'll add in end rods four blocks tall here and then we'll add in a stone block all the way to the top here two polished anisites here stone block then three polished anisites and then three upside down stone brick stairs and then three polished anisites at the bottom of that then we're going to fill in the rest with stone all the way across here then we'll add in uh, two stone brick stairs here stone brick slabs on top then four blocks tall of this dark oak fence gate like so and we can add in a skull and skull right here in the middle of that then we're going to go right above here and add upside down stone brick stairs stone brick slab and stone brick stairs upside down facing the other direction then three blocks wide of stone brick slabs and then we'll add in stairs in the corners slab for the rest top of that we'll add in quartz block make an O shape and then we'll add another one in the corners like that then on the bottom parts we'll add in three uh, white glass panes on each side all right so next we're going to make a plus sign of quartz on the outer edge same thing on all four sides and after we are done with that let's see what we can do would add in stone or quartz stairs in the corners of all these like that so that there's a bunch of circles after we're done with that uh, we'll add in quartz in the corners then we'll add in a quartz slab in the corners as well then a plus sign of quartz on top cross like that after that's done, we'll go over here, add in two dark oak fence gates, open that up, and skip a block here, add three iron bars like that, go on the other side, add iron bars all the way around, except the part where we have the ladder. It's going to go wrap around here and make an L shape like that. Then we're going to fill in the floor with uh, gray concrete. All right, so next we'll move down over here, add in dark oak fence gates, uh, four blocks tall open them all up and make a two by two of dark oak fence gates here and two by two of iron trap doors on top of that add in the skull and skull right here and then we'll add in three stone brick stairs dangling up like so two more stone brick slabs like that and then upside down stone brick stairs here stone brick slab and then a stone brick stairs upside down right there. Then we'll add another stone brick stairs on top, two of them dangling up, like so. Then we'll add in another brick fences underneath that stairs. Right over here, we'll add in um, three stone blocks tall, like that. Then we'll add in uh, iron trap doors to the sides at the top. And then a uh, cobblestone wall, two blocks tall here. Then we'll skip a block away from the wall, add quartz with stone button on top. Now let's go on top of this, add in another stone block. Then we'll make an upside down L shape of cobblestone wall. And then two more cobblestone walls like that. Add in a stone brick block here. Two slabs, top like that. Another slab here, and then upside down. Um, stone brick stairs like that then on the side of this we'll add in end rods three blocks long like so then we'll add a stone button to the side and do the same thing over here stone button three blocks long end rods next we'll go down here add a stone or iron bar right there and then dangling up iron bar two blocks long and then dangling up iron bar and then this part goes all the way around this segment here and then we can open this up so that you can access it 
Next, we'll go up over here next to this. Three blocks tall, polish andesite. Stone by in the middle, acacia fence gate here, and open it up. Then we'll add in cobblestone wall, two blocks tall here. Next, we'll go on this outer edge, and we'll add in three blocks tall of nether brick fence here. Skip a block, add skeleton skull right there in the middle. All right, so now we're gonna go to this winch, add in iron bar right here in the middle. And we get two blocks along with that, go dangling down, add another two, like so. Go to this edge, we're gonna add two of them here, like that, dangling down, another two. Same thing in this section here, just two of them, dangling down, two. This time we're gonna add another one to this edge here. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just for this back section. So we have uh, this shape right here. Then we'll add in gray concrete underneath this iron bar. And I'm going to add in two to the left hand side. And five to the right hand side. So one, two, three, four, and five like that. Then we'll add in stone buttons right here. Every other block. So that there is four of them. Then we're going to go right over here to this side. Line up with the stone button three blocks wide stone brick one stone brick in the middle and stone brick stairs in the bottom corners then we'll add another row of uh, this uh, gray concrete all the way across and we'll add in stone buttons spaced apart like so so this is like the start of the craft and there's going to be another craft on the other side which we'll build so on this side, we're going to start off right down here, add in eight great concretes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Skip one away from the edge, add three blocks wide, stone brick, one in the middle, and stone brick stairs in the corners. Then we'll add another row of this gray concrete. And we'll add in stone buns every other block, like so. All right, so we have these two pieces. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna build one of them and you'll have to build the same exact thing on the other side. So I don't have to repeat the tutorial once again for this. All right, so first we're gonna go down in here, add in cops on the wall at the bottom, skeleton skulls on the sides like this. And top of this section, we'll add in end rods all the way across, like so. Then we'll extend this uh, stone brick at the bottom all the way across to that gray concrete. And stone brick stairs all the way on the sides of it. Same thing on the other side. Across like this. Very nice. Then we're going to add another brick stairs here. Another brick slab. Then two another brick slabs on top. Other side, same thing. And then we'll go down and add in another brick slab. Add in two like that, same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna go down inwards and add another brick block right here in the middle. Another brick stairs on either side of that. Then we're gonna go underneath the front area, add in stone brick stairs, stone brick block behind it, slab underneath, and then another stairs. And then stone brick block like that. Then we'll add in stone brick slab right here in the corners. Like so, and then we're going to add a C-shape of stone brick slabs, cross like that, so we have that, and then we're going to add an end rod right here, skeleton skull on top of it like that. Then we'll go over here to the middle area, skip a block here and add in three um, stone brick blocks, one in the middle as well, stone brick stairs here. Uh, black carpet on top of this stone brick and we'll need in gray carpet for the rest of this floor wrap that all the way around like this and we're going to skip this back portion for now then we'll add in a stone button on the sides of this with an end rod right behind it both sides like so I'm going to add stone brick block in the middle, stone brick stairs on either side, 
black carpet three blocks wide and dark oak fence get here and open that up then we'll add in an end rod right to this bottom portion two blocks tall go diagonally and add another two blocks like so all right and then you would build the same exact craft on the other side all right so after you build it on the other side it should look like this so next we're to go right over here uh, to this part at the hole skip this stone here and we're gonna go three blocks down so one two and three after that we'll make a two by two hole fill that in with polish and a site do the same thing on the other side so go to this loop skip a block here and we'll go three down skip that block and then add in two by two uh, polish in a site so yeah that is pretty much it on how to build the top section of the Ticonderoga uh, class cruiser, the USS Monterey. All right, so now we're gonna be building uh, one layer of the bottom red hole. So let's go down here, add in our red terracotta, place that down to this black concrete. So the full layer for this, it's going to be 10, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 9, 8, 10, 10, 13, 15, 60, 20, 15, 16, 11, and two and now some people they're gonna be like oh I'm so confused I need to actually see it so uh, I'm gonna walk you through it right here but we've whirled at it just to make it faster so the first one is 10 stack it like that then we're gonna go dangly and then we're gonna go in head and add nine here dangly then we're gonna add in eight dangly and then we're gonna add in uh, nine then we're going to go diagonally, and then this is going to be 8, diagonally, and then we're going to add in 9, diagonally, add in another 9, diagonally, and this is going to be 8. Then we're going to go diagonally, and this is going to be 10, and then diagonally again make this 10 again diagonally and make a 13 then diagonally and this is going to be 15 diagonally and make this 60 all right and then at this point it's going to go the other direction towards the inside part so we're going to go diagonally into this be a bit tricky uh, we're gonna make this so it is 20 then we're gonna go down again and this is gonna be 15 all right and then we're gonna go down again and then it's gonna be 16 diagonally in again and then this could be 11 and you'll be left with two so we'll fill that in all right so after you do that this is going to go all the way across to the middle section like so and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side all right so yeah that's pretty much it for my tutorial on the ticonderoga class cruiser now if you actually want to build the rest of the hole uh, I tried to do this before, but to keep on messing up, this thing is really easy to mess up since it has so many parts, uh, but I don't think it's necessary if you are building it in the water, you're not going to really see the bottom that much unless you have like a dry dock or you're just building it out of water for some reason. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys are interested in building the hole after all, uh, if this video gets 200 likes, then I will consider building it. Uh, but anyways, thanks to Sketsy for the original design. He is the original designer, so please credit him if you are building this. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you had already because I'll be uploading more videos. Maybe not of this because these 1.5 to 1 scale ship tutorials take forever and this had a lot of detail sketchy was telling me how it would be so much harder than the burke and it totally was uh, but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one bye